Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Figenti. I'm the Managed Services Sales Manager with Stargill Office Solutions. Today I'll be talking about document management. So, what is document management? Document management allows you to store all your important business documents in a centralized managed repository system. And that can be accomplished using an application called DocuWare. And today I'll be showing you DocuWare using its web client. So what I'm going to do is authenticate to the web client using my personal logins. If you don't want to use your personal logins, you can log in using your Windows Active Directory. So what I'm going to do is just click on the login button. It will get me straight into the web client. The web client is extremely easy to look at. So on the right side is considered the preview side of DocuWare. That's pretty much wherever you preview your documents before you do something with it. On the left side is considered the business side of the DocuWare. That's mainly where all your main transaction takes place. For example, we have the tray. The tray represents the temporary gathering space for your documents. You have your file cabinet, which I call the permanent gathering space for your documents. So there's different ways you can get documents into this application. You can scan it using your personal scanner. You can use a copier. You can use your email. You can print it using a third-party application. You can download it from your CRMs, your ERPs, your accounting systems, or whatever application is easier for you. Or even if you have an electronic version of the documents, you can simply drag and drop those documents into the tray. So what's going to happen whenever it goes into the tray? And keep in mind, the tray is your temporary gathering space for your documents. So what I'm doing is kicking off what's called an intelligent indexing job. So once the intelligent indexing job is complete, it will come up with some couple of highlights. If it's green, green is letting me know that it has a high confidence level of where the document is supposed to go. If it's yellow, it's telling me that it needs to verify some, some information. And if it's red, it's basically telling me that there's something in the mess that requires me to correct it. So now the intelligent indexing job is complete. So what I'll do is just click on the store function. So what will happen, it'll forward me to my naming convention. As you can see, it pulled the metadata and automatically assigned them into the index fields for me. It pulled the vendor name, the document number, the date, the amount, and also the due date. As you can see, all these index fields are green except this guy. Is letting me know is this information correct so what I'm going to do is delete this entry and use this instead as my document number so the next time I store a document from rapid transport it'll go ahead and pull that index that metadata and assign them into the index field for me automatically so what I'll do is click on store it'll go ahead and save that first document for me now it's showing me the second document from storage experts. As you can see, all of the index entries are all green. It's letting me know that I'm good to go. If I click on store, it'll forward me to my third and final document from US Steel. As you can see, it's all green and it's all good to go, letting me know that it has a high confidence level of which file cabinet is supposed to go to and what index data is supposed to pull from the documents and assign them in, and assigning them into the fields for me. Once I click on store on the third and final documents, I was able to officially capture three documents and structurally store them into my file cabinet. So the final task is for me to find those documents in the file cabinet. So what I'll do is click on the file cabinet and now I have all the index names and index fields at my disposal. And keep in mind, all of these names and all of these fields are tailorable according to your organization. So now if I want to find the documents, I could go ahead and do so. Let's assume I want to find storage experts. If I click search, it'll find storage experts for me. If I double click it, and here we go. Now if I want to find any documents that are stored today, I could search by today's date. If I just hit an X, it automatically populates today's date for me. I click search, and here are the three documents that I stored a second ago. And that's it. Just a quick introduction into DocuWare. We're able to capture three documents. We're able to 
store them into the file cabinet and I was able to retrieve them for you. I'll show you more of the functionality and efficiency and automations that are available with Darkyware. Thank you. Have a great night.